Hey guys, Bross here. Welcome back to Tenebris Lake. Uh, this is part 7. And last episode, that those two things scared me to death. And then there's this down here, which I'm gonna in fact light up a bit. Which has nothing. I'm gonna look in the water in case he was. In case he like put something there. Oh. Why are you bent out like that? I'm stupid enough to believe that lighting that will cause something to happen. And I don't know why you have uh, this here. Oh. Ooh. Aha! I do know what I'm doing. Oh, I go so slow. Uh. I go this way. Lies. All oh, lies. There's a oops ladder. Maybe I have to go down here, or that's where you have to go for falling. I don't know. This music isn't helping. I have nothing back here, and if there's nothing back here, then I'll go down the ladder. Which seems to be the case. And I'm low on oil. Which is bad. Metal sounds for wooden stairs. Genius. Okay. That way. God, I'm gonna cry if there's a monster here. Oil! Oh, I need to do so bad. If there's a monster down here, I'm seriously gonna cry. I'm gonna look around for more oil. <clears throat> okay, seems I just wasted my time. Wasting oil, looking for oil. Onwards! And hope nothing pops out. That was horrible. What's back here? Oil! Stairs. I'll go this way. Because it seems more dangerous. Downstairs! Door! Locked. This way. Door! Not locked. Save point. Dead body. Hopefully oil. Oil! I was right. Everything's better with the lantern. Oop, lag. We're just fraps for a second. Oh no, it's pigs. Pigs, why you make me lag? Pigs are laggy creatures, never know. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, which I prefer not to do, considering how it's dark and anything can pop out. Stay over here with the light for a second. Alright, man up. Locked. Why is everything locked? So. I swear to god, I just heard an enemy for a second. More fuel! Yes! That is what I needed. Locked. Locked. Alright. Oh no! That. Never mind. I swear. 
swear to God, if there's one that runs, I'm just gonna shoot it. Like, I'm going to make a gun in this game and shoot the thing's face off. Which I do not have the skills to do. Now to get out of here. Much oil. I can't look. I'm sure a good amount. Yeah. Better than nothing. I was wondering why that hole is there. Get up! There we go. Oh, I almost fell off. That would have been bad. Alright, I'm not even gonna take any chances. I'm just running there. Pouring that crap in. And he's gonna come alive. Oh, sanity. Don't come alive. You're open. Where's the doctor? I'm gonna shut you because I don't trust you. A note. Two notes. And no oil. Okay, let's get into this. It's lit up room in here. Thank God. Little chair. Little chair. Alright, which one? Whatever. A bit of a mess. The addition of a CD marker to my set of tools has been quite beneficial. I seem to have encountered a bit of snag during my last experiment. <sighs> As expected, the application of the acid to the flesh produces an immediate violent reaction, causing an intense burning sensation. One subject seemed to believe I had set him on fire. Additionally, the acid's corrosive effects caused a large portion of the subject's skin to slow off while the remaining portions of skin become necrotic, producing a distinct red scarring upon extended exposure. All of this is characteristic of an acid of this potency, but I seem to have under underestimated just how much the human body can tolerate. After the last session, I was quite certain of all six subjects had died due to their extended exposure to the acid. I was wrong. Their breathing must have been slowed to the point of near death, but somehow they managed. Oh my god! Lighten up! A reminder to take care of the bodies from yesterday, feed the prisoners. Curly Castles 5569. Found the code. Now let's get out of here before anything happens. I'm, I have goosebumps right now. I swear to God, something is gonna happen. I don't know where to go, I'm going this way. It's too dark, I'm going this way. Oh, we're wrong way. Okay, this way, then I go left. I can't see crap. There should be stairs. Oh, left. Oh, wrong, right. Oh yeah, stairs. Oh. Then left when I'm up here. Light. I can see. Left. Exits up here. Door. 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 Exit. Stairs. Yes! Oh god, I thought something was gonna happen. I'm low on oil too. Five, five, six, nine. To what door? This one. It's locked though. Whatever. I guess like once you have the note, then that's good.
chapter five, the truth. Save. Please save. Oh, there we go. That took a while. Saving a lot of data. This is cozy, I'm happy. Sandy Christian, I am good on Sandy. And I need platinum. Platinum. And how many tender cylinders? Seven? Okay. I actually want to check out here first. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm actually going to turn off my lantern because there's perfectly clear light. I was expecting you to be locked. Or are you? Okay. Not the light. Boop. Boop. Okay. I need oil. I'm expecting oil. Dang it. What? Light? From where? Whatever. Open. Oh, what the heck? That is a messed up door. Since its hinges have rusted. I don't even know what wrong, what's wrong with that door. Um, yeah. I expect a lot of these doors to be locked. I'm surprised. Oh, I'm gonna open you and hope there's oil inside of you. Oh, nothing. Why did you make this room? Nice room, but why'd you make it? I'm... Never mind. Oil, please. Not good enough. I have full sanity. I need oil. Ow. Oil, no. I'm on a desperate hunt for oil. Boop. Nope. Low on oil. Sorry if I'm taking up so much time looting. I just need oil. Oh, uh, what? Please. Okay, loud no. Boop. Yeah, that's cool potions, but I happen to need something else. Oh, that's the same way. Okay, I have to go here. Is that a wardrobe? Open. I need you. Oh, something's here. As bait, are you out of your mind? Oh, oh, what the? What happened? Let's put you in the fire. Nope. Oh my god. Lure it into. I I don't even know what to lure it into. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in part 8. Crap.